Hey guys, Tank here with an unboxing and a quick view of what's inside the uh, Outlaw Rampage Pro kit from Kyosho. Now let's get to it and uh, see what's uh, on the box and inside the box. So the Outlaw Rampage Pro kit is a kit that's 70% pre-assembled for you. So there is still a little bit of work to do and the body is actually not painted so you can actually paint it yourself. So it's a, it is a very nice kit to uh, to have and we'll quickly go through some of the stuff. Oh darn, it's in Chinese. Let me flip that around. I got a hard enough time with English. Now I'm going to have to learn uh, Chinese. No way. So in the kit, you do get the, the complete frame. It is 70% uh, assembled, like I just mentioned. Uh, wheels comes with it. They are all pre-glued and pre-assembled, uh, but not on the truck. Uh, you do get the um, uh, chrome grill, and you do get the light bucket, which is nice. You do get sway bars, uh, front and rear. You do get a front and rear skid plate, which is aluminum which is nice. Nice. You do get nice aluminum uh, oil shocks. Um, not sure if they're filled up, but uh, I, I'll i find out uh, once I start building the kit. Uh, it does come pre-assembled with uh, bearings, which is nice. And you do get Hawks, um, hex hardware throughout the truck. Uh, you do get a uh, standard vertical mount, but this one actually, uh, you have the option. You can put it this way. But it comes already with this, with the two tires like this. And you do get six tires out of it, which is a nice deal. Uh, and you do get the nice adjustment and the ball end. Uh, you can actually adjust and tighten it from the top. Um, so that's a really nice feature. So that's uh, the box on this side. On this side, you get nice graphic again. Talks about the truck. I like. I love this color. Uh, this color is nice. The gold one was just amazing. The one I reviewed, it was just amazing. And on this side, you get the uh, Chinese or Japanese, whatever. I am not sure what it is. And then on top, you get this, and on the bottom, you get a big white box. So let's open her up and see what's in there. Okay, so in the box, when you open it, it is sealed. This one was sealed, but I actually uh, took the seals off. Uh, this is how everything is actually packed. Uh, you have bag three. Well, it says bag three, but there's more than one bag. Uh, it's actually a whole bunch of bag, and we'll go through them real quick of what's in there. Uh, here's the four tires. Uh, nothing is open. So it's the first time I'm actually opening it with you guys, and I will go through some of the stuff. Now, what I'm curious to find out is if the tires are actually glued, and there are bead locks. So they're not glued, they're bead locks. I forgot that these are actually bead locks, which is a kind of a nice add-on. Uh, this does come with the uh, uh, chrome wheels, uh, the non-pro kit, uh, the Pro version, but not the kit version of this, uh, comes with uh, uh, not chrome tires. So this one has all the chrome option, which is nice. Uh, bag 4 comes with the body. And you do get the masks for the window, and you do get stickers for it. Now, one thing that you do not get is the black stripe to actually paint it. If you want to paint that way uh, with a black stripe, uh, you have to make your own stripe. So this is all pre-cut and pre-sanded. Uh, pre it looks pretty well done for the sanding job they've done. So it's going to make the painting job a little quicker. Uh, it, the body reamer are there. So for the hood also. So they've already pre-drilled. So that's going to be nice and easy to do and uh, to actually paint. And then you get the chrome grill. Now... Myself, I like the black, uh, the square headlights. Um, I'll have to, once I have it painted, I'll have to check which one is going to look better. Uh, but it would be so nice to black blacken the uh, inside of the grill here. So it actually stands out more. So I might do that or take the Dremel to it. I don't know. But it would really make it uh, nice and uh, scale if I actually cut out the center of that. The frame comes all wrapped up 
and underneath you get the manual so manual manual is very well instructed see they're telling you how to fill the oil uh, I don't think the oil is already pre-filled but I'll check that out uh, it actually tells you here 70% kit so when you get to this point that means you have to do this uh, portion so the electronic box and things like that there is some stuff that you have to do so 70% kit 70% kit if it's not written then you don't have to do it like all these uh, you don't have 70% kit so you don't have to do it so it, it's pretty well self-explanatory so very nice and thick manual with a lot of different stuff let's get to the frame what is really neat which I've seen in other videos is they have little foam tiny wheels on it to actually protect the uh, the, the, the screws and the, where you put the tires so you can actually take those off and you even have another little adapter on it these pin you take it off and put the normal pin so they're just there so that everything stays there so we'll leave those on there like I mentioned the tires are installed on here the rear tires so that's nice um, this might be good if we paint it chrome or silver or maybe a grayish color uh, you see here we have the sway bars at the back so metal I love this thing it's so well built and it's 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 not that heavy it's pretty light uh, battery holder uh, goes here your electronic box goes here uh, Tony from CCXRC was mentioning that it was a little hard to get at because of um, this bar and to actually get in and out so it's a little bit of a hassle but how often do you get in there and not too often only when you do maintenance so because of the sway bar I move one side and the other side moves so which is kind of cool one is going to help the other so on on the trail and while you're having fun with it bashing it should be kind of cool I did order some uh, the four buckets for this truck uh, from Kyosho hopefully they'll come in uh, I don't know when but till then I might put different light buckets but I love the light buckets that they have for an option because they actually uh, have silver in it so it looks nice so nice shock tower here's where you tie the body at the back so very nice skid plate in the front so let's put this on the table and uh, spread out a couple bags around just to see what we have so there we go this is what you get in the whole kit you get the body you get the tires and a bunch of bags uh, so bag number one you actually get the steering uh, steering ser uh, servo uh, hardware to actually uh, servo saver and part of the servo uh, to hold everything in the front so that's nice and a couple little ball ends the tool so that's nice here you get the electronic tray and the battery tray in bag two uh, bag three you do get the shocks and you do get oil so this is why I'm thinking uh, it the um, oil is not in there so we do have front and rear I believe they're the same length yeah they look the same length for the front or the rear so it's not like the slash slash I, I know that uh, the front and rear are different this one looks like the same length for both of them now the oil thickness that they're giving you it's written number 350 so it might be 35 oil weight I'm not sure uh, but they do give you oil with it again here bag 8 you get uh, some shock parts here uh, more shock parts some different type of oil and uh, oh the skid plate for the front in plastic and another body mount so maybe if you break the front one I don't know or maybe it's for a different body so there's a couple different things here in bag 8 bag 6 you get the uh, the hardware for the body this goes and finishes off the cage at the back for the uh, uh, to hold the to hold the back uh, body so that's a lot of fun uh, bag 5 you get the grill again like I mentioned earlier bag 7 you get the tires so that's going to be a fun build
So let's have a little closer look at the chassis at different stuff. Oh, and I just noticed uh, bag four is actually the body. And I didn't mention that earlier, but I forgot. Bag four is the actual bag for the body. So all the bags are there. So steering is very interesting on this because it actually slides. And there is a little cap that goes on top of that to... Uh, help everything but once you put the servo in here it, it lies in here and then uh, it's pretty nice how they've done that and uh, it's very smooth they have bearings everywhere uh, so very nice and smooth the A arms on this are pretty big they're nice and thick anyways you're looking at well over half an inch at this end and a good three eighths at the other end and you can see here that they have pins here and these pin go all the way through so it should be nice and sturdy again you have a long screw here that goes from here to all the way up to the back nice front end And again, at the front, they have these small little funky wheels. Then you take them off, and then you can see the casters. And you can see where you adjust the ball or take the ball out or screw it tighter. There is a little, uh, you just a, a hex driver into here. It's a little hard to see, but... I like having an open ball cap like this. It's it actually helps it for uh, the dirt and uh, and so and whatnot. Some of the racing cars um, from Team Associated actually had these kind of ball ends, and they were nice. If we can see more of the steering, so it goes from one side to the other. Battery tray. Now, sway bars kind of went the other way because the shocks are not there. So this is the other side of the truck. Let's take this off. And we can see more of the rear end. Now, I've heard that some people had some issues with the transmission or that it's noisy. Uh, but it might be maintenance or I might take it apart and just make sure there's enough grease in there and make sure everything is well oiled. So... Uh, Right now I'm turning it and I hear no noise and it's very nice and quiet. So uh, very, I love that they made aluminum links here. Uh, there's two, just two of them, but they're aluminum, which is nice. Um, plastic lower arms where you put the shocks. Might have aluminum, aluminum upgrade, but this is good. So there's nothing... Um, you don't need aluminum. Aluminum bends and doesn't come back to shape. Plastic will bend back. Uh, after a while, sometimes the plastic does deform, but you should have to buy another one. Uh, so not a big issue. Love how they've done the sway bars at the, at the top. And the back tires, they look so nice. Again, here's uh, this stays there, and this is where you would put that center uh, tire. It's actually molded in there, so there is a bump, so you cannot remove it. But I guess if somebody really wanted to, they could put uh, some, uh, buy some of those uh, aluminum uh, plates, uh, cut it off, and just glue a plate on top of that, and then you won't you won't have that. There's a lot of modification you can do. Now the tires, they, they say you can move it forward or backward, uh, forward or backward. Uh, but right now it's, it's right at the limit. You cannot move these any closer, but it does permit you to do it because of these. So you just move them forward or back. Uh, but right now you can't move it any, fo uh, any more forward unless you actually cut the cage here. But once you do that, you're going to weaken things at the back. So, but you can bring it back a little bit more and bringing it back kind of makes it, uh, uh, you can play with the balance of the truck. If you're jumping and, and whatnot, you can, uh, 
bring more of the weight back and like that to bring the nose up so can't wait to put this on the proving ground and have some fun with it and again you get different position shocks here that you can actually put your shocks on different angles putting it on different angles will make the truck react differently so this is going to be so fun and here's the bottom of it honeycomb pattern to make it a little stronger cool well guys thanks a lot for watching please like comment and uh on the next video i'll uh, probably do a quick build video on this so it should be kind of quick so thank you so a lot for watching uh like i mentioned like comment and subscribe and guys keep your batteries full have fun and go bashing and don't forget have fun